Pack to Amy and Sean. On 1027 VGS. I haven't heard this song in so long. Great song. Uh, my, uh, my son Mario has an unhealthy obsession with the playground right now. Mm-hmm. Jess loves it. And the swing in particular. Gosh, does he love himself a, a swing. Mm-hmm. Man, he gets on it and like you push him and you are there now. Yeah. You belong to the swing. Yeah. And the second you try to get him off the swing, it gets like tumultuous really fast. But Mario is such a sweet kid. God, is he so good. But man, when he... Flips that Italian switch. <laughs> you like the Tempesta jeans when they come out. He just Maron, hey. <laughs> he gets so so uh, ornery or ornery ornery. ornery. ornery yeah. I never knew how to say that. Uh, yeah. So this has been a kind of a recurring thing, and I want to bring the boys to the playground. But every time we go to leave. He is having a meltdown, and I'm not sure how to handle this. Uh, I'm not screaming. I'm like, bud, I'm not going to bring you to the playground if we're going to keep doing this. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to pull him away. Yesterday, we went to uh, Summerlin. Mm -hmm. We went to the, was it the Fox Run? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That is an awesome park. It's weird. It's a weird park. Yeah, it's it's, uh, uh, like almost oddly shapen. And there's a lot of hills and grass, but yeah. it's uh, they've got a ton of cool stuff. No it's swing, only a though. few years old. No swing. No, but that they I do see. have the um, the zip line. The zip lines are mm-hmm. awesome. Uh, they went on that a few times, and and he didn't want to stop with the zip. The zip lines were the swing yesterday, mm-hmm. and I'm like, but it's been like six times, and like you know, we got here, and you were sleeping. Everyone was sleeping, so I just left them in the back seat. Just get your snooze in. Mm-hmm. I don't want to force you awake so you can go play. Yeah. They woke up. We did like 30 minutes at the park, and they did not want to leave. Um, and I'm not sure what to do. Uh, 702 597 1027. I'm listening now to an audiobook about parenting. Mm-hmm. I'm listening to an audiobook to try to be a better. It's called Good Inside A Guide to Becoming the Parent You Want to Be. Mm-hmm. And uh, it says that all of us, even the parents, we are at the core good inside. And I've always thought that. Sometimes you'll hear parents like in, you know, You'll you'll see like a terror of a child, and the parent will be like, "But he's a good kid. He's just yeah. he's just having a problem." Sometimes that's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Occasionally right. it's not. It's there. They didn't say that your kid's good inside. Right. They said that my kid's good uh-huh. inside. So there we go. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Do you uh, any tantrums on the uh, on the Roman front when it comes to pulling them away from things? Does it happen? Um. Yeah. Uh, for sure. I think one thing. Uh, that is a must that I didn't really do with Jaden. Luckily, Patrick did. That I try more with Roman is when I say, okay, you can't blank, then you really can't blank. You have to set up the guard. Yeah, yes. because if you say you can't and then you actually do and they're like, huh, told you. <laughs> yeah, and and they're playing the us like a fiddle. Like they are small and they don't really understand psychology, but they very much understand psychology. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My my sister's, uh, my nephew, Bruin, four months uh, younger than Roman, he is, uh, to both of them. So they were super sneaky the other, like, I don't know, last week or something. It must have been last weekend. We were going to the parade, right? A Halloween parade. Super excited. Mm-hmm. You got to eat your lunch though, so we can get ready and go to the parade. But then we were waiting for the lunch to get there. We ordered pizza or whatever. And they found two pieces of candy. And I said, you can't have the candy mm-hmm. until your lunch comes. You have to eat your lunch. So then my sister and I are chatting in the living room, blah, 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 blah. It's all quiet. Yeah. Where are they? I go into the room where they're eating the candy. Yeah. But they already eaten the candy. It's gone. And so I said, where's your candy? Roman said, it's in my pocket. Kid doesn't have pockets. <laughs> Swear. <laughs> Bruin, where's the candy? He has the wrapper in his mouth. He's hiding evidence. <laughs> oh, my God. They're four. Wow. This How is like, do they learn that's this? That's prison stuff. Yes. <laughs> Have they been watching some of the Dateline true crime with stuff with you? No. Uh, <laughs> no, not yet, but I will get them there. So I'm like, I'm I'm uh, more disciplinary than my sister even is, if you can believe that. So I tell both of them, you need to apologize. We don't like sneaky kids. Sneaky kids and kids that lie don't get to go to the parade. you got to be kidding me. And also, like, we're fall, y'all. Santa's watching. So I don't know about you, but I would be terrified and be petrified that Santa's not going to bring any presents. Blah, 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 going on and on and on. And then I said, and uh, Romy's crying. He's devastated. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. When mom says things, she's, Santa. yeah. Yeah. But, but we all know that Santa will bring the gifts. 
well, yeah. I mean, but we we take away sometimes. Like, well, we yeah. definitely take away. I try to take away sometimes. Uh, we I take away. We're, we're big. We're big takeawayers. <laughs> Gruen, though, on the other hand, says I don't care, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh my god. That's. I said, what do you mean you don't care? He's like, I don't, I don't care. I'm like. Emily, he said he didn't care. Because I'm what like, do I, I, do? Don't, I don't, I'm not used to that. You go like, back to the parent the push back. <laughs> what is it? He says he doesn't care. I told my sister. You're oh my screwed. God. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I was like, listen, mine's crying in tears, apologizing. You deal with yours. Mine's still going to the parade. <laughs> it's so hard because each kid is so different. Very much so. So if you say, that's why it's hard to give like parenting advice. You can say like what your opinion is. But at the end of the day, your dad, you know your kids, so you have to do whatever you think and, and know is right to his personality. Yeah. Uh, as far as the park thing, one thing we did with Roman is we put a timer on. And so when we got there, 30 minute timer. And so he know, hey, timer. So it goes and we so leave. They, yeah. So they don't think you're just pulling a number out of thin air. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. I just yeah. set it up. Be like, all right, boys, and your time starts now. Go. Uh -huh. Yeah. Maybe that's it. I, I don't want to not do the playground with him. Uh, but right. in the same breath, it's like every time we leave, he's crying every single time. Yeah. Uh, and Colin and Mario are very different. Like mm -hmm. Colin is a certain way. Mario is a certain way. And like trying to figure out how to balance the two of them. You know, one of them wanted to go to Applebee's last night. The other one wanted to go to Chick-fil-A. I said, all right, let's settle with best of three rock, paper, scissors. It was tied 1-1. One, one. Mario walked away. I'm like, well, then I guess we're going to Applebee's. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you've, yeah. you've created this. Situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, also, um, I think, and it's hard, too, because they're around the same age. So I couldn't imagine saying, like, sort of like when somebody messes up on the team and they all got to start running ladders. Yeah. You can't, you know, poor Colin can't get in trouble because Mario doesn't want to leave the park. And that's the thing because they've, uh, I've usually just said, all right, we are not going to whatever. And then and Colin's then like, oh. Colin gets <laughs> caught, caught up or sometimes the other way around, sometimes yeah. the other way around. So there's one time I just delivered Mario back home. I'm like, I'm going with just Colin. I mean... It is an option. You know, I don't want to do that because that, know, that, that creates, like, that creates like, I know. you know, it comes up in therapy 22 years later. It's like, yeah. well, he I only was brought my brought brother. home. <laughs> <laughs> I was the favorite. I wasn't good at rock, paper, uh, scissors, shoot. <laughs> you know, what, what I've learned just reading all the stuff that I've been reading is uh, even though a lot of the people you see on Instagram would like you to believe so, there is no perfect parent. It ain't true. We are all trying our best.